another Crafty Kids video tutorial. Um, this one is very patriotic themed. As you can see, I've got a lot of red, white, and blue in front of me. Um, so the library is actually closed um, to celebrate July 4th. We're going to be closed Friday, Saturday, and Sunday so we can celebrate with our friends and family. Um, so this video is coming to you on a Tuesday, which I know is kind of weird, but we wanted it to be like story time, Crafty Kids story time. So I put it in on a Tuesday so you guys can come pick up your patriotic supplies Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then we're going to be closed. But then if you miss it, we will probably still have these all next week until Friday when our new normal Crafty Kids video comes out. So of course you can still celebrate 4th of July throughout the month of July, right? So we have some really cute, very easy crafts for you. <laughs> <laughs> really like last week was a little bit of a doozy. Um, this, these are very easy, very simple. Um, I honestly really probably don't have to do a video, but it's a chance for you guys to win a prize if you're watching it live and it's fun. I like talking to you all um, and hopefully you enjoy listening and I still love seeing what you create when you post in the comments. So it's all worth it. Let's go ahead and get started with our super, super cute ages five and under craft. Uncle Sam mask. <laughs> Isn't that so fun? So this one, as you can imagine, we've got some cotton balls and then in the kit, of course, we it came the cotton balls, instructions, some red, white, and blue. So let's read our instructions. Step one, have the plate curve, excuse me, have the plate curve up facing you like how you would normally eat, okay? So the plate curve is up facing me. We don't want it like this because we want it to be holding the cotton balls well so we can frame our face. So the curve is up. Using a glue stick or liquid glue, glue the blue hat rim to the base of the red part of the hat. And then we're gonna glue on top of the plate. So first we glue the blue rectangle, long rectangle, to on top of the red one at the base, right there. So I'm gonna to try to center it right there on the bottom. I'm gonna use a glue stick for this part. So I glued that. And now it said that I needed to glue this whole thing to the paper plate still facing up. So it's gonna be a little tricky because the plate curve uh, is up, but it'll kind of mold to that curve. Um, I'm still gonna use a glue stick, but I'm gonna use a lot of glue. Okay, so I've assembled my hat. <laughs> it's so fun, I love it. I love it already. Number three, use the glue, glue, excuse me, glue the star to the hat brim. Told you guys this is an easy craft. You get one star, put it anywhere you want. You can put it on the red, on the blue, in the middle, whatever you wanna do. Okay, so now my hat is done. Step four, our last step, using liquid glue, glue the cotton balls around the paper plate to look like a beard. So I'm probably gonna clump mine more from like the middle part down because I'm not quite sure how the spacing is gonna go. Um, but you could go all the way up to the hat brim and down. I'm gonna try, start from the middle and go down and I'll see how it looks. And if I have more left over, I can always go up higher towards the hat. Okay, that was easy and I love it. Here is my Uncle Sam hat. So I did go about halfway and I had about two cotton balls left over. <laughs> and I'm ready for 4th of July. 
<laughs> Definitely take pictures of your kids in these. This is so cute. Tag Longview Public Library if you make this. Oh my goodness, I love this. This is probably one of my favorites that we've done. Really quick and easy. Um, come get your supplies. I know you probably have this around your house, but why use your supplies when you can get them from us? We got it ready to go. All right, so that was our Uncle Sam hat. So, so, so fun. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the craft that was for ages six and up. It too is also pretty simple. Um, I've got another paper plate with the middle missing, and I've got a bunch of red, white, and blue stars. Let's move this so you guys can see. And I've got some streamers. So this is what our example looks like. It is a um, patriotic wreath. I love the flowy crepe paper. Um, the example doesn't have it, but we put a string on yours so you can hang it up. Um, it would look great outside or on your door. Um, I like the way that this would probably catch the wind. My cats would love to play with this, so we're not gonna do that. Um, oh man, I would love to do a video with them playing with this. Oh, <laughs> this wouldn't last very long. <laughs> anyway, I digress. Okay, so we're gonna make this, and as you can imagine, I mean, we're really just gonna glue the crepe paper onto the back and glue the stars onto the front in any design you want. Um, so uh, honestly, younger kids could probably do this one too. Um, but I just love that, I love the younger one too. Okay, so let's see what our first step is. Lay the plate, this sounds familiar, with the curve facing up like you'd be eating off of it. So same thing, the curve is facing me like I would be eating. Orient it so the yarn is at the top to hang it up afterwards. Okay, good to go. Number two, using liquid glue or a glue stick, glue the stars around the plate, okay? So like I said, you can do any, if you wanna do the pattern red, white, and blue, if you wanted to clump your red, clump your blue, clump your white, go crazy and do a random pattern, whatever suits you. You have, I believe, three of each color, so just keep that in mind. Um, and once again, you could do your whole plate. You, if you wanted to go stop halfway, you guys are the creative ones. And then of course, afterwards, if you wanted to go in with marker or colored pencil or crayon or something and make it even more like bright and pop, you totally could do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue these guys on. I'm gonna choose to use um, glue stick because it's a little less messy. Okay, so I glued my stars on. So I went for clumping them by color. So I did red, white, blue, um, but you can alternate them like I said. Um, so that turned out really well. I was a little afraid about my spacing, but it ended up working out. And then, um, like I said, our example had them every other, and then they sat right next to each other and it worked out perfectly. So um, either way you do it, it's, it's a, the right amount of stars. All right, step three, the last one. Flip the plate over, okay. So now the curve is facing down and glue or tape the streamers in a row around the bottom of the plate. So remember wherever you've got your yarn, that's the top of your plate. So your streamers are going to flutter down off the bottom and the streamers, you have two colors each. So just keep that in mind. Um, I am going to use liquid glue on my streamers, but I think liquid glue stick or tape would be fine. Okay, so I'm gonna glue these guys on and we'll see how it looks. I decided to alternate my colors on the bottom because I didn't on the top um, and let me show you the back I don't have a lot of overlap on mine on the back there's a little bit but not a lot so that just depends on if you overlap then you know it's gonna look um, probably more full but not as spread out so I wanted mine to kind of fan out more like this so I think that turned out really really well 
I might have to take this home, hang that on my door away from the cats. <laughs> anyway, that's it for our two patriotic crafts, guys. I mean, these are just two winners right here. Easy, really cute, very patriotic. And like I said, if you um, come by and get them after July 4th, you'll always have them for next year. And then of course, you know, celebrate the 4th all month long. So happy July 4th um, for me at the Long Beach Public Library and everybody else that works here. I hope you guys have a very safe, very fun, happy holiday. Um, I love, love going and seeing the fireworks. Um, I'm so glad that the celebration is uh, on once again at the um, Longview Convention and Complex Center. So I really hope you guys can go to those fireworks. They are driving this year. Just, you know, let's be safe out there. Um, but I really hope you can go join because they're free. Um, it's just, you know, it's awesome. Awesome thing that our city does for us. Um, so yeah, happy 4th of July and please come pick up your supplies through curbside um, or coming into the library and don't forget we will be closed um, the um, July, is that 3rd, 4th and 5th, so that Friday, Saturday, Sunday, um, but we'll reopen the following week and we still got these guys for you if you'd like to make some. Bye!